middle class is declining. Inflation in America surged in June, the largest monthly rise in rent since 1986. Any moment now, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates for the sixth time this year. Rising costs are expected to continue to hammer household budgets for months to come. Yep, the middle class is screwed. Not because of all the other rising costs, it also is taking an emotional toll on Americans making their physical medical conditions even worse. In an economy where consumer goods prices are rising, mortgage loan interest rates are rising, and income levels are slow to keep up. We do, Kate. The Federal Reserve has officially raised interest rates by 0.75 percentage points, again, largely as expected. Now you must dip into your savings, but there is a problem. You don't have any savings. You slowly reach into your wallet and grab that piece of plastic. Oh, I'll just make the minimum payments. You are in an endless loop of swiping your card, drowning yourself into more and more debt until realize it did not work. It's a broken system. The middle class is almost as painful as poverty. Constant fear. But there is a thing called middle class mediocre mindset. It's extremely detrimental to your success if you're trying to break out. The typical American household is now spending nearly $500 more every month on the same goods and services. So I get paid tomorrow and already my whole paycheck is spoken for. Well, so many of them are telling me their salaries just aren't keeping up. We have new reporting this morning on the effects of inflation. A lot it's the of first time in my life I've had to apply for food stamps because I don't know how we're going to continue. So what are you going to do now? Your next move will change the trajectory of your life. What will you decide? For many of you, it began with a promise. You were told if you follow this route exactly, the results will grant you pure happiness. Get a bachelor's degree, get a job with benefits, put your money in a 401k, and when you are 65, you can retire without a care in the world and be happy. You will live in an abyss of freedom without a worry in sight. Don't follow your dreams. Are you crazy? Your teacher utters to you. What if it never works? You are now consumed by fear, so you push your dreams to the side and follow their advice. But then, reality hits. We have new reporting this morning on the effects of inflation. A lot of talk about fuel and food prices, but one area that might have an even greater impact, rising health care costs. CNN's Vanessa Yurkiewicz has the story, and this has a particular impact on the middle class. Vanessa. You are now burdened with the rising costs in consumer pricing, paying overdraft fees, and drowning in credit card debt. But how can this be, you say to yourself? You follow their instructions exactly. This shouldn't be happening to me. Your mind has been conditioned to take the easy route, to do what most of the population is doing. However, that thinking has led you down a path of stress, and now money is a constant reminder of anxiety and worry in your life. This type of thinking is known as the middle Middle class mindset. Generally, you are living paycheck to paycheck. Even if you're making an executive salary, all of it is spent by the end of the month. And when there is any kind of increase, whether a raise, a bonus, or an inheritance, it's spent on toys. This type of thinking has plagued the entire world. Consumerism has been your downfall, and now you are left with negative balances in your bank account. Life was simple. You have one source of income, your job, and you receive a paycheck every two weeks or on the 1st and 15th. Is this the American dream? Think over your life. It's as if a group of mad scientists have programmed your mind to only think inside the box. There was a study done on flies. They were placed inside a jar with a lid on top. The mother conceived and bore children, and the highest they could fly was capped because of the lid. Then the lid was removed. However, that did not change the fly's behavior. They still only reached what they were conditioned to, their comfort level, what they were used to. This mindset is an atrocity. You are afraid to do what has not been modeled in front of you, so you just do what you have seen and nothing more. Fear is an absolute dream killer. It will completely immobilize you based on you thinking only the worst could happen. What if it doesn't work? What if I fail? But ask yourself this, how would you know it wouldn't work if you never tried? Failure does not exist. I'll prove it to you. You have a goal in mind, something that you want to obtain. In order to grasp what you desire, there will be steps, a process that needs to take place in order to mold and shape you into something great. Along the way, you will have setbacks. You will start Stumble, but eventually you will reach your goal. Now those setbacks I mentioned are those failures. All right, now stick with me because we're gonna go deeper. Now this is a warning because if you continue down this path, things are only gonna get worse. $38.12, 329, 440, 13, 
Olga and Kevin McGarity are sitting with four years of medical bills. That is the gap that the government won't pay. Taking care of their health and keeping track of the cost consumes everyday life. Here is the reality. Soon the world will only have two types of classes, the wealthy and the poor. With consumer prices rising at an all-time high and income levels not matching that increase, the gap between the middle class and the wealthy will widen. Listen to me carefully. I am telling you this not to scare you, but hopefully to wake you up. 10 to 20 years from now, the cost of living will be extremely high. And if you keep on carelessly walking through life, well, you will live to regret it. So there are some things that need to be said. Why is it that you only have one job, only one source of income coming in? What happens if you lose that job? I know there are some of you who have lived through that experience and they can attest it is not pretty. Your bills are like a pack of wolves just waiting to devour you. Once they see your income has stopped, they will unleash an attack for the kill. This mindset of job security is a myth as well. There is no such thing as job security. You can always be replaced. Trust me. I don't care if you are the smartest person in the company. They can always find someone else. Are you reading between the lines? Are you willing to put all your trust in a company who doesn't really care about you? When they smile in your face and tell you great job for all your efforts, and then you receive an email saying, I am sorry to inform you, but we have to let you go. But that doesn't stop you. You continue thinking, all you need is one job. One company is going to appreciate me for my efforts. Then it happens again. Um, these are the most significant tech layoffs that we've seen since um, basically since the Great Recession, so in, in more than a decade. Do you believe we're on the precipice of a recession, as a lot of people believe? And what are you doing for your clients? What are you advising them to do to protect their portfolios? Well, Frank, I think we're on, we're, we're sort of at the beginning of what is going to be the most anticipated recession in probably modern history. Everyone ex expects the recession. Whenever there is a recession, the middle class takes the hit. With no investments, no savings, and no knowledge of investing, during a recession, the middle class pays the price. When a recession comes, Comes, there is only one class that benefits. They understand this is the perfect buying opportunity to acquire more assets. And for those in the middle class who do have money invested, they quickly sell all their assets, thinking they have dodged a bullet because of the drop in stock prices. However, while you let fear consume you and rush to pull your money out, the wealthy are rubbing their hands together with a big smile on their faces. They continue to 4X their money during every recession, widening the gap between the wealthy and the middle class. Now, if this continues, what do you think will happen to you? I have type 2 diabetes high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Uh, I had a bout with cancer that seems to be a remission at this point. And Olga? I have thyroid cancer. And uh, it's been pretty much all the time going to the doctor. Medicare doesn't cover all the medications and visits they need, but private insurance helps pick up the rest, but at a significant out-of-pocket cost. At age 65, most Americans won't be able to afford Medicare when they retire due to rising costs. If you keep living a life of normalcy, if you keep trying to fit in and do what everyone else is doing, you will reap what you sow. To those of you who hate the wealthy so much, I'd like to propose a statement to you. If you want what the wealthy has, you must do what they do. Specifically, you must think how they think. Does it feel like you are living a meaningless life? Like you are a zombie, just coasting through the day, doing the same things repeatedly? Have you accepted that things will never change? Well, that is the trap. You were meant for so much more. You were meant to change the world. But somewhere along the line, you have allowed outside individuals and ideas to warp your mind into something, or should I say someone you don't recognize anymore. Are you really okay with spending most, if not all of your time in a job, working for an employer who really doesn't care about you? You are constantly stressed, worried about money, and living paycheck to paycheck. Then when a beast like inflation comes to devour you, or when your employer that you have worked so hard to produce at fires you, what are you going to do? The ramifications of a middle-class mindset run deep. Some of you probably never think about these things because you have been able to get by. You are living a life in a comfortable state, not worried about inflation or job loss because you believe you have job security. You see, <sighs> That type of thinking will be your downfall. Once the prices of consumer goods start to rise, and trust me, they will, you will be forced to swipe that credit card, piling up more and more debt to sustain your comfortable life. If only you had money saved up for emergencies. You never took your finances seriously. You relied on your job, only one source of income, in order to survive. Why isn't your money invested? I am sure someone may have told you to invest your money, but you replied with, well, what if the stock market crashes? Another attribute of a middle-class mindset. You were told, just put your money in a 401 
401k and everything will be fine. Listen to me carefully. You need to take control of your own finances. Never put the power of money in someone else's hand. At the end of the day, who is going to care more about you? Oh, and those pensions and social security that you hold so near and dear to your heart? You might want to take another look at them. The government does not care about you and your so-called peers who have put you on this current path don't care about you either. So what is your next step? Well, you have a decision to make. Either you continue your current path of mediocrity or you make a change. The ball is in your court. What will you do? It's time for a change. It's time to take control of your life. People are always telling you, oh, you have time, don't worry about it. No, you don't have time. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but tomorrow is not promised. Just ask the people who have lost loved ones. Do you want to live and die and never know what could have been? Who you could have become if only you had not let fear and comfort consume you? Are you fed up yet with your current circumstances? If so, good, that is the beginning. Now it's time to act. Start gaining knowledge on how to manage money. Here are some basics. Make sure you have three to six months of your monthly income in your savings account. How can you achieve this? Try putting at least 10% away each time you get paid. You can't afford 10% then what else are you spending it on? Are there things that you spend your money on that you don't need? Can you do without those things for a little while? Start thinking on what's most important in your life. Things or your stress levels. Create multiple streams of income. Stop relying on only your job as your only source of income. Most people today, if they lose their jobs, well, I'll let you ponder on what will happen. Start making your money work for you. Stocks, crypto, real estate, commodities. Today, you can easily gain knowledge on how to invest in the stock market. I will give you some advice that people charge thousands of dollars for. Just invest your money in a stock called VOO. Put some money in there every month. You will thank me later. Stop trying to impress people with a new car. Focus on increasing your assets and income level first. At the end of the day, people really don't care about what you have. So why go into debt just to make it look like you are rich? Live life on purpose and not for an amount of money. Focus on purpose first and the money will come later. You would always chase money. I get it. That's what you were taught to do. But you no longer think that way. You are making a shift. Stop chasing money. Instead, chase providing value to others. Start thinking generationally how you are going to provide for your grandkids' kids because it's not only about you. It's time to reprogram your mind into someone you are proud of. Someone who does not need an alarm clock to wake up. It's time to become who you were born to be. It's time we say goodbye to a middle-class mindset.